very warm welcome to uh, all the all the panelists today uh, so just just wanted to set the context before uh, you know we start the conversation so you know as all of us are aware the pandemic has had a lot of impact uh, on the business environment some of it more tactical some of it more long term more strategic uh, the way consumers customers uh, today engage with an organization is changed uh the way employees and employers are engaging uh, the entire uh, team of reskilling is changing uh, competitor sets uh, that companies are dealing with are new ecosystems are changing and what is the art of possible uh, with the leverage and usage of technology that too uh, is changing so we have an outstanding panel uh, uh, to discuss uh, some of the impact of all this and how that's impacting uh the future vision uh, of some of the most successful organizations uh in india dr hiran nani uh, uh you know the the commercial real estate environment of today uh, has been transformed with you know with this future of work hybrid models uh, you know work from wherever uh, you know these notions becoming popular so in the in the commercial real estate dr hiran nani are you seeing big demand shifts and also uh, are there innovations and you know flexible working models uh, that you are looking at for organizations in the post pandemic uh, world uh, thank you rajiv great to be on your panel and with all our other panelists uh, it's such a pleasure uh, rajiv it would be a gross underestimation to say that there has been a change there has been a dramatic change so i think there is confusion there is confusion at the top there is confusion at the bottom uh confusion at the top because we are hearing statements that uh, 75% of the workforce in certain companies will work from home and again i have talked to the people at the middle level of the same company at the hr level who have said very clearly that not more than 20 to 25% of that same company will work from home and this is coming within the same 30 days of discussion so i don't think it's an easy statement to say as to what exactly the change is but change is happening there is no doubt about it number 2 the social distancing that we are talking about will require a complete change in terms of office spaces you kind of put the sardines in the can that's not going to happen anymore so i think that's another change which you are really going to see the third change is that remote working is a real possibility so you don't mind certain people and women in the world for workforce is certainly going to have a different change when they want to bring up their children for a year or two before they really come back so change in that sense of the term rajiv is definitely happening but to what extent it's really going to happen in all the sectors my gut feel and this is a gut feel there is no uh, standard by which i'm going i think it will make a difference to 20 to 25% of the space that will ultimately get affected but if there is growth in the industry if you get a 10% plus growth in the indian economy then i don't think there's much of a problem in terms of the commercial space we will do it we have just booked uh, about uh, 400000 square feet in new projects which are coming up in the next 2 years so we have done booking of that already it's a pre booking which is done and why is it happened let me share with you a secret companies are consolidating they are now moving into areas where they get a grade products but they don't mind shifting at this point of time and saying yes we will shift into a better consolidated place where there is an economy of pricing etc but it should be a quality space so all that is definitely happening covid has precipitated in that but let me share with you rajiv the other side of the story i've got huge number and believe you huge number of people who want to upgrade the size of houses they have husband and wife working from home children studying from home college students working from home i mean uh, studying from home my god they all suddenly find that the home is so small and those who can afford it have upgraded their houses and funnily the smaller houses they lived in also got sold at the same time so upgradation capital gains tax benefit all those things happened in the last 6 month with the stamp duty reduction which took place in in maharashtra actually precipitated the whole thing so again covid has caused a change yes the answer is definitely happening the third aspect of it is marketing uh, we would normally uh, earlier have more visitors to the site this time the branded companies which are there and i repeat the branded companies where company like uh, uh, 
uh, uh, we've just heard from Mr. Sodhi uh, where the people can be trusted. A Kamul brand or other branded companies can be trusted. People are buying from the net. Now, this was never happening to the extent it happened before. I'm not saying it didn't happen, but the number who are buying, like he mentioned about the, the ordering level of PD light and other things, the same thing is happening. We have had people doing closures. Earlier, they would say, all right, next month I'm coming from Dubai. I'm coming from so-and-so. So-and-so will visit the site. Now, there is a trust and faith. If they have trust and faith with the brand, this is certainly going to take Two other aspects touched by others I'd like to uh, casually mention. One, consumer centricity that was mentioned. And I think that's a very big flag off. Complete change in thoughts. Earlier, people built the houses and they expected it would be sold because that is the type of house you have made. No more. Now people do want a lot of demand with the kind of stay at home. They want common facilities to be available, maybe a clubhouse, maybe something, walking center. They want to exercise. They want a gym. All these aspects are going to be done. And the last but not the least, construction workers, we are looking after them. Quite a change between what it was before and it is now. We look after them. We give them free food. We look after their sanitization. Every one of them is getting vaccinated. All that is happening, which means I have lost, in spite of that, 20% of my workforce in the second wave. Other builders have lost 80% of their workforce at the same time. So if you look after your labor, look after your staff, look after your people, there's a huge amount of difference. So I think uh, COVID has taught us a lot of things and they are here to stay. But the extent of change on a permanent basis is yet to be seen. I'm looking forward to this exciting new story, which will teach me more and more as we go around if and when the COVID uh, takes a third wave. And hopefully with the vaccination, it won't be very harsh on any one of us. Yeah, yeah, that's what we that's we all hope. And Dr. Irandani, you're absolutely right. But what I'm also seeing is, you know, different geographies around the world are also reacting differently. Different industry segments are reacting differently. So if I look at financial services, and if I look at US, they, they want to bring their people home and other. If I look at the technology sector, they are much more comfortable in, in Europe is probably more work from home. US seems to be much more, uh, you know, getting back to office. So maybe it's the state of vaccination, maybe is that. But I think those these are, you're absolutely right that there is a lot of conversation on this hybrid model, but only, you know, we will, we will learn about it through time. And one more short, sorry, I forgot. I, I read somewhere of two different financing companies in New York. One said we will have more working from home. And the other, I believe it was JP Morgan, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Right. They said, yeah. no, we want people to come back to the office. Right. So it's two same people in the finance business, one insisting work from home, wonderful. The other one saying, no, it doesn't work for us. Yeah. So we'll see what really works and doesn't work for them. Right, right, absolutely. I mean, uh, Dr. Hiradanani, again, you touched upon this and I just thought that, you know, uh, it's a great uh, uh, segue uh, into some of these uh, similar questions. I mean, even as I look at real estate sector, uh, the customer buying process uh, is changing the way customer wants to engage from an entire life cycle standpoint, how is house from registration of documentation to, you know, how is house progressing? I think that's going through a lot of change. Um, so the way they want to engage with with you probably is going to, is, is, is changing. So are you also seeing emerging sort of alternate channels? I mean, the way you look at customer acquisition and do you think it's disrupting the traditional uh, broker based model? Uh, Rajiv, you'll be surprised. Both sides are growing. The, uh, the direct model, wherein we engage directly with the customers through the various apps that we have, as well as uh, social media and others. We have a great amount of engagement with them. On the other hand, we find that there are certain uh, channel partners who are actually doing a great job too in terms of a service provision that they have done. So both the sectors have grown. So while there has been, again, a shakeup, some of the persons who have not been able to adapt with technology and not be able to reach the customers, those channel partners work is diminishing. While the others who have taken technology and we are working with them together with it. So grow again, consolidation, consolidation of the brand people, consolidation of the trust, but also with the channel partners. So uh, it's not that uh, you can say that uh, 
one is at the cost of the other. It's not like that, Raji. Both are growing. And uh, the only thing is, some people are out of it. And they will not be able to come back because they are not able to fathom that the change which has happened is required. Another very important factor which has happened, which I didn't see before. Consumers are far well knowledgeable now because of the internet than they were before. So, um, building industry would fool the people. I'm sorry to say about my own industry. Would be able to fool the people. Today, less likely with Vera, with the other things, you've got to engage with them and you have to be honest and be able to uh, engage trust of your consumer. This is the biggest change, I think, in India in terms of sales and marketing to be done. It's a wonderful thing which has happened. So I think uh, the entire situation which has taken place because of the availability of the internet, before, because of social media. So if you make a bad building, even if you make 10, 20, 50 good building, you make one building which is bad, the whole world will know about the bad building and not about the so many good buildings that you have made. So consumer engagement, honest, integrity, fantastic. And it's working. But good channel partners have grown their business. So some of them have grown it by 100, 200, 300 percent during the pandemic and otherwise. So both ways. Absolutely. So greater formalization, uh, reputation is now becoming absolutely gold standard, has to be gold standard. And third is, you know, your channel partners also have to change with you. If they don't change, then they will, they are likely to be left behind. 